Yo, what is up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back from another Tales of Erin guide video and this is a review of Garcia or uh, Gal Caesar. Uh, so he is a 5 star fire base character. He is more of a uh, tanky unit. He's got uh, 3604 defenses. This is, uh, this is quite high. Uh, currently in the game might be the I think he might be third, second or third with highest defense. Uh, you can bring it up with uh, if you pull more of him or if you use these things. And the title gives you 80% uh, HP for fire characters in your party. Uh, so those are the stats. Um, you can pause if I go too quick, but this is my build. Um, I will use, I will expand and use two of these later on on the ultimate. But let's begin with the first skill. It deals 500% fire damage to an enemy in front and restore HP equal to 10% of the character's max HP. Also knocks enemy away. Alright, so this is uh, kind of wrong because it actually hits every enemy in front of him. And... Uh, the really great thing about it is that it restores 10% of his max health for every target that gets hit. So if he's fighting 3, 4, 5 targets, he will get healed for 30%, uh, 40%, or 50% of his max health. So you can just run him with no healer in uh, a lot of cases with his ultimate... Um, I will go and show you the ultimate when it's maxed out because mine is only 8 out of 10. Going in the character album. So his ultimate skill deal 1800% fire damage to enemies with long distance in front and taunt them. Force enemies attack the caster for 60 seconds. Reduce damage received by 30% for 15 seconds. So this is nice damage reduction. Also, it forced them to attack him for a minute. And uh, the cooldown is 50 seconds. Uh, you can check out some of my gameplay videos or when I do uh, a game in a few minutes, you will... Uh, well, it might be harder to notice, but when there are multiple enemies, this ultimate actually the cooldown goes down for some reason. It is not specified here, but it's uh, it's clearly doing it. And the one minute is really long for uh, forcing them to attack you. So when he's uh, like uh, taunting a boss or one target, uh, he can keep aggro. He can like really like tank that uh, that uh, unit. And 30% damage reduction is pretty good. Now increase max HP of fire characters in the party. This passive, his first passive, is really amazing. 50% is huge. So definitely uh, max this thing out. Uh, I would say it depends at what point in the game you're getting him. If this is your only 5 star and you're starting the game, um, uh, you might not have a full fire team, a mono fire team. So you could just go with the first skill. And if you don't have any healer, he will definitely tank for you. No problem pushing in the campaign. Uh, no issue there unless you're fighting some boss that deals a lot of damage and he cannot sustain himself But you need to get some more HP on him if if he's dying uh, Too quick just get more HP. He's gonna uh, heal himself for more. So it's all good and This thing I mean, I mean uh, more offense on him It's all right, but uh, I I believe he is more of a tank uh, meat shield uh, he taunts the monsters, keeps himself uh, himself alive with sustain. Uh, so yeah, this thing is not really used unless you just pull him. One of the only five star you got, or you only got a few of a different uh, from different elements. You can use him as a tank, and uh, I guess you could power this thing up. But I mean, you're gonna have to end up using twenty thousand gold to respect eventually because. He will uh, be more of a tank uh, tank role later on. So yeah, uh, his story here. Let me just go back on my actual character. 
and, and the stats here actually uh, I mean it's it's quite a bit of damage but uh, this damage is not uh, multiplicative this is additive so if you already have like a hundred percent attack from all your titles and uh, I mean one ti your title if you got the Alvin uh, plus 10 title let's just say uh, if you got buffs in the team uh, coming from costumes coming uh, from uh, buffs from other uh, party members uh, or from divinity uh, the first divinity uh, grants you 30% uh, attack increase or 40% attack increase whichever depending on which one you, you powered up um, so this is additive so it won't multiply all your damage so it's not as powerful as you might believe but early game it is powerful when you barely have any soul costume and uh, you don't have any buffs but it's more of a early game thing definitely this thing the passive leadership ferocity that thing is godly and uh, and the first skill obviously and then you max out this the, the ultimate eventually with the, the skill fruits and this is my party I'm running him alongside of uh, Wulian and uh, I got uh, Mao and uh, I always forget her name Nefiru alright so she's a healer Petralia is coming up uh, in a couple hours hopefully I can manage to pull her she's a uh, she's a healer a therapist and uh, she buffed the group up and she's a five star uh, fire base character so here for the equipment um, for him okay let's start with the item that buffs uh, buff up his HP this is a self buffing item it is a tier 3 you can get those from the jade shop or uh, you can craft them or maybe they drop from uh, an event or you can pull them out of uh, event uh, chest or a vault or whatever um, I mean this one rolled with a bonus kill of HP of fire character plus 17 percent so I mean I had it laying around and I had a bunch of those so I mean you can only level it to 25 early on but uh, when you get more of these you can uh, feed uh, the same it has to be the same name the same one you feed them and you break through the the, the most powerful one that you have the one with the better skill bonuses uh, you power it up to up to like level 100 maybe you're lucky enough that you end up using tier 4 and just totally skip the tier tier 3 but uh, it depends if there's a fire event that drops a bunch of costumes you might just maybe skip this whole tier uh, it's just uh, we are not blessed with the uh, fire uh, event yet but in a few hours it's about to all change all right so um, for the rest of the team I mean he's a tank uh, just get a bit more HP on him but m most of the rest of the team should be running uh, attack buffing uh, costumes for the whole team crit uh, buff for the whole team and uh, maybe a bit of uh, HP buff for the whole team um, this one is only tier 2 it's level 100 I've broken through that thing uh, four times to bring it to this level and I did it because it had attack of fire characters in the party plus 7% and uh, that was really the only easily obtainable costume that I could get and I was waiting for one that had a nice uh, skill bonus for me to uh, power it up this is a tier 3 uh, the fire master sword you can get those from the with guild coins from the guild shop they cost 900 guild coins so you can farm the guild desert tower and uh, use the coins or just donate a ton of jade uh, into the guild or uh, gems and then uh, uh, eventually buy one or multiple and you could break through them uh, you could just pull a couple let's say and uh, wait for the one with the best skill bonus so you don't have to use gold hammers to reroll these things and just feed uh, the other ones into uh, uh, the most uh, the, the most powerful one uh, but early on of course you will have to just uh, roll with a couple that can only be leveled to 25 and uh, 
I mean, it's going to be really powerful for your team. It's going to buff up your attack across the whole team. All right, so moving along here, uh, his story, you can pause. I've shown it before, but um, yeah, just pause if you want to see it. And uh, I'm going to go and show you my team in action while talking more about uh, Garcia. All right, so I'm using the uh, first divinity. Uh, she she provides damage increase for the team. Uh, she's the second one, second tier, so uh, she provides 40% attack increase across the whole team. It is additive, from what I know. Uh, after you pop her, you get a 30% uh, damage increase for 30 second for the whole team, and. Uh, you also get uh, your attack interval is halved. Uh, you attack 90% faster. So here, uh, Garcia, he is taunting the boss. Uh, I mean, he's got aggro on the boss. And uh, he can sustain himself uh, with his first kill, no problem. I actually do not he need a healer for, uh, for running this boss because I'm fire and the boss is wind. So... Uh, fire counters wind, so you get uh, way less. You receive way less damage from uh, wind uh, enemies, and you deal more, a lot more damage against them. So I've got my divinity ready here. Uh, Mao's doing her old. I'm gonna pop. Okay, divinity popped. It did like 190,000 damage. And uh, their attack speed is faster. You could turn off the auto attack here to uh, get some quick quick attacks in. It's just 10 seconds. And then you just start auto again. Or you could manual the whole thing depending on uh, if you feel lazy or not. But I mean, this is just easy, easily farmable stuff for me. So I don't need to even worry about this. But uh, Garcia can solo tank this whole thing with no healer. Uh, I can actually like just take off the self-buffing HP costume on him and he I'm pretty sure he will survive just fine uh, Because wind does less damage to him and uh, yeah uh, Also, he has 30% damage reduction uh, not on mine because it's not maxed out, but it's like 24 or 22% uh, So in my team, I'll just run another one actually Try to join. No, this is 60. This is not good. Just looking for one that's. I'm just gonna refresh. Like a fresh 80. This is fresh enough. So, uh, the other units, uh, the other characters in my group, there's Wu Yan in front with Garcia. Uh, she counter attacks whenever she gets hit three times or she uh, loses 10% of her max HP. Uh, she counterattacks with her first skill, but Garcia can keep aggro on uh, on uh, every uh, enemies, no problem with his ult. And I was talking about his ultimate being ready faster than 50 seconds. Uh, you could time it, he just used it. I could actually time it, just to get the final answer on this, because it... I'm 100% sure that when you're fighting multiple enemies, his ultimate gets uh, ready faster. It's just, like, it, it was crazy. It was it was really quick, actually, compared to, like, uh, it's it was clearly not 50 seconds. That's what I'm saying. Mao is my main damage dealer. She's in the back. Uh, she's got, like, some fire elemental attached to her. Yeah, just helping her. You can check out my Mao review. Uh, Nefiru is just healing, but she's mostly there for uh, buffing the team's damage. The heal is nice, it, it removes deep buffs across the whole team. Uh, debuffs like uh, defense down, attack down. It does not remove damage over time, unfortunately. You need uh, a character that specifically removes damage over time effects. So, yeah. I mean,. Uh, yeah, Garcia, he uses ult again. Uh, let me check here. Just timing it real quick. It seems to have been like... 
about 15 seconds to go halfway. I could be wrong, but you can test it out uh, when you get him against multiple monsters. Uh, I could actually just go and show you real quick. Okay. If I go here, this should be a good example. So which one was it? The Tower of Season? This chapter? Uh, no, uh, wait. No, that's not the one. It is the chapter 2 in Extreme. I was farming that place for uh, for the Sun Pearls, which I need for Mao uh, Soul Costume. Upgrade number 3. So let's go in there. The monsters are... F it says the level is fire-based. But, uh, I mean... There's a mix of elements in there. You could you could totally run Garcia with no healer, no ne uh, Nefiru, and run the healing divinity. And uh, in between his uh, sustain from his first kill, uh, you can notice his health when it drops down by a lot. He will heal multiple times. Uh, Depending on how many targets are alive in front of him, it's only two here. It's not. There's a third one that's gonna join up here. They barely have time to do anything because my team is way more powerful now. Let's see, he's getting attacked. I mean, <laughs> let, let me just auto attack here. Let, let's let's see. Let's see. All right. He, he's getting attacked. Woolian's getting destroyed. Let him taunt. Uh, actually, can he taunt or... Okay, I'm gonna just attack. You see the healing he just did? He's using his ult now. So you see that with his first kill... You see? Boom. He can his sustain himself. It's just amazing. He's really great. Uh, the Taunt did, like, this is just one enemy here, it's just gonna heal once. But, uh, Wulian died because I think the Archer did not get, uh, taunted because there's a limited range on that, uh, that ultimate. But this was to give you an idea of, uh, how good he is at sustaining, sustaining himself against multiple target. This, and this is extreme difficulty, this is not, like, uh, easy or hard. Now, let me just go through my team real quick. Uh, yeah, I got time for that. Okay, so this is Mao. You can pause here and the team, uh, you can check the stats. This is f with the DPS Divinity. This is with the Healing Divinity. Both are, are, are the Tier 2. Now, uh, character, Mao is really my main damage dealer. So just just pause between the items if you want to see the stats. I mean you've seen his stats already, but just pause if you want to see again. Just team buffing attack, team buffing HP, uh, team buffing crit. Uh, I'm not using her, but th just tamp items on her, actually. I've used her before. I went uh, with no healer for a long time. I was using the healing divinity. And I skipped the healer, and uh, I was using Garcia as my tank, and uh, he was healing just fine, like you saw. Just amazing. Just straight up offense, you know? Straight up offense. And uh, she provides nice attack buff. Uh, nice passive, nice nice buff here, and nice restoration. Eh, pretty good restoration. Uh, it's actually okay. And dispels 2 debuff when it's max kill. Uh, the fourth one, uh, uh, I'm not going for it with this build. Uh, you don't need any skill point. You don't need to expand when you go for this build because you have zero in this one at level 100. It's uh, it is quite good actually. 
So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, Garcia uh, guide review. Um, I mean, oh yeah, Garcia for item build. Sorry, uh, you could you could you want to have uh, tanky items like more HP. You want to boost his HP. Uh, early on if you don't have costumes that boost the team's hp team's attack so just go with more of these on him like at some point i was trying to run triple of those because i did not have anything to buff up my team uh, i ran three of those and then it, it turned into two and then like uh, into one but uh yeah you could use a bit of if he's the only five star in your team you could go with this thing uh, for a while uh, i mean you need to buff up the hp of the team so just one point this is like a, a one pointer like uh this you have to max this you have to max too uh the old you can uh, you can be fine with one point uh one point you can go back to when i was fighting multiple target to check if the ultimate skill actually uh was quicker than 50 second uh sorry i did not check that uh, another time and uh yeah i mean you could put some attack on him and some crit and an each self buffing hp item early on but uh i mean this is really early on when you actually have your uh, mono fire team going you really need a core damage dealer mao is perfect right now she's the only one with a spirit skill uh, beside alvin alvin that's fire based Wulian is amazing for damage she doesn't doesn't have a spirit skill but she's really great with her counter and her passive is she's amazing and uh nefiru forced solid four star healer buffer uh, attack buffer but uh, P petrelia is coming up and she's gonna be uh, pretty godly so i hope i can pull her <laughs> today all right guys that's it for this one thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and uh, subscribe for more and hopefully i'll see you guys in my other videos i make a bunch of gameplay videos for this game guys how to's so check those out all right peace out for now